we're gonna go buy bagels. Hey kids, welcome back to the garden. I hope you're well. It's another week of me doing whatever it is that I'm doing in my lockdown quarantine school life. Uh, so let's start off with the fact that I saw a hawk, a freaking hawk, and it was huge and beautiful. And a bunch of crows were trying to scare it away, and it did work, uh, but it was crazy. And then Phil and I walked home. We went to get a prescription that day. It was like a frosty morning, and it was great. There isn't a lot of snow on the ground right now. And then we just headed home, and yeah, Fix has been very energetic recently, so you're gonna see a lot of him just booking it around and hiding under things. On Wednesdays I have a lot of classes, well I have two, but they're back to back and it just feels like so much. Um, and so I had some coffee in the morning and some avocado toast and I was really excited about my coffee. And I had avocado toast and it was chef's kiss, Loves, love me some good toast. And then there's Fig's little bum sticking out the whole time I was in class, his little tail sticking out and uh, it was just so cute. I love him so, so much. He's so dear to me. And then it was just another day of classes and sitting at my desk and doing whatever it is that we're supposed to do um, other than pay attention because I was also doing that and I was not getting distracted by this little mirror I found on my desk and taking funny videos of my plants. I did not do that. Anyways, uh, I didn't do that. I don't know why you think I did that. You're wrong. Anyway, well, here we are doing what we're supposed to be doing, which is paying attention. And then classes ended. <laughs> The sky was gorgeous. Uh, I feel like kind of the highlight of my day at this point is, well, A, it's feeding figs in the morning, and B, it is that sky. Another walk to get another prescription. I. Um, just had issues getting a refill this week, so I ended up making lots of trips. But it's fine. I got to enjoy outside. I saw these really, really wonderful vines. Um, I think they're roots growing from a certain tree. And then all these little buds on the trees reminding me that the, the leaves are just sleeping. They will come back. And then I got a Squishmallow because I've, I've been not feeling great. And I stood at the store and I saw this guy and he just, he looked at me and I knew that he knew me and I knew him in another life. So I got him. His name is Sawyer, but I named him Peanut as well. So his name's Peanut Sawyer. Anyways, my boyfriend's been playing a lot of Stardew Valley. So I watched him and hung out with Sawyer and played a bit on my own. And that's all I did that day. All right, so Friday I have my painting class, and so pretty much that's what I did that day. I painted, it was good. Um, we had to do a still life from a picture that we got sent. Usually we'd work from life, like in our classrooms, but obviously we can't do that right now. This one was cool, it had a piece of driftwood, which I've never painted a piece of driftwood before, and it was challenging. And then there was a pot with a spider plant in it, two apples, and pretty strong light and shadow which I don't think I executed the shadow quite the way I wanted to, but we'll get there. I'm gonna work on it. I'm gonna try and make my shadows better and my light contrast it more. Um, but yeah, other than that, I had a lot of fun. I think it's good to just kind of paint sometimes and let your mind wander a little and just let yourself focus on really just picking up all the individual colors and stop worrying about as much of what it is more about just what the colors are and then letting the speak the color speak for itself because if you especially if you're in the situation where you're doing something like an apple and a plant where they're really natural and then you're doing something like a piece of wood you want to be able to show all the different textures i really like painting loosely i think that's always how i like to paint i like it to feel very organic and i like it to kind of look like it's been painted i don't necessarily want to give the impression that it's real um and so 
I don't know, I've always been kind of messy in this way. And uh, when I was in second year, I had a teacher actually tell me that I paint like a rock star. But they didn't mean it in a good way. They meant it like that I just kind of throw my stuff on the canvas. And I always had like one hand on my pocket and stuff just because I try not to touch it too much. And if I don't put my hand in my pocket, I'll, I've ca I caught myself like literally touching paint with my fingers. And I don't want to do that necessarily all the time. Although I probably do it in this. I just always end up doing it. But yeah, he was like, you paint like a rock star. I was trying to say that I need to like slow down and like be tighter with how I paint. But then as the semester went on, as I continued to just paint as I did paint, um, he just kind of ended up showing me ways to incorporate that into my style in a way that made sense and like taught me ways to do things like painting, like putting tape around so that it has like nice clean edges. And then that way, it doesn't look sloppy. It I think painting plants is one of my favorite things. I think just anything with a lot of green is something I really enjoy to paint. And I think that's because greens, mixing them, I just think is so much fun. I love that if you go dark enough with a green, it's like almost black. And I love that you can go so light that like it's kind of almost yellow. And uh, just those like nice acidic greens that are like really high contrast with the dark greens. Oh, so fun. Such a good time. I think you should paint as you enjoy painting. I know some people don't enjoy painting plants, but I think planting, painting, not planting, painting things that are like organic or just like natural things, even if you're gonna paint like a rock as opposed to painting something more man-made, I think just you can be a bit looser with, but I don't know. I think that might just be my preference still. Maybe that's just my bias. I'm a really big fan of walking around and finding things you want to paint and thinking of little scenarios in your head and trying to come up with those. And I really like having like a strong color base, like having that red there when I'm working on this apple and then adding in my yellows and then finding the middle ground, which in this happens to be some browns and happens to be some darker reds. And so fun such a good time and then you can go in and add your lighter details and all those other fun things you can put your shadows in i think if you can put general shapes in with a good solid mid medium mid color for what your object is that's such a good base i did not know about that i used to start my paintings and put start on one part and try and try and finish the whole thing through on that part and then move to the next part like doing like the right eye and finishing the whole right eye and then moving to the left eye and doing the whole left eye and then moving to the hair and doing all of the hair um and it's harder to do that it's so much easier if you can give yourself just like a light base for the whole thing get a general idea of where the color should be going and then give yourself as much time as you need to do the details and let yourself just jump in between there's not this there's no like right way to do art and if for you that's easier for you to just jump in and do like the final version right away that's fine i can't do that i commend you for that i really can't but i, I uh, if you do struggle with painting and finding and if your specific struggle with painting is that you do one part of it and you like the one part and then you start working on the rest and it just doesn't come together i would recommend trying this kind of approach where you loosely set everything out and then slowly work in your details and bounce around the whole painting um because uh, i just it's so much easier i used to just uh, be so annoyed i did all these portraits where the one eye would look so good and then i'd start moving on to the other eye and then it would not look right and maybe it was a good eye but it wasn't match the other one and then it felt like the whole thing was hopeless to get the thing done because the one i got all messed up um and because that was like the second thing I had done and I'd already put like how many hours into it and so it felt awful but I just so you know there's no competition in art and people can't tell you, you did something wrong and even if you just start a piece and then don't finish it that's still better than not ever starting one okay just so you know
is my favorite time. Time to peel the Gudetama tape. This washi tape I got from Miniso, by the way, and it's so cute and works really well. And here's the reference photo. my day with a little walk and then I came home in time to see the sun set and there was a good sky that night anyways thank you guys so much for being here it's been another week I can't believe it's been a few months of me doing this at this point let me know if there's anything you want me to do and I'll see you next week love you so much thanks for being here Mwah.